Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. So this topic we came up and we chose adding and focusing about the DI specific one because both of us are part of DI group. And the other reason to add about this as a CFP was to promote and demonstrate a commitment how to foster more inclusive, equitable, and innovative business environment. So in today's session, uh, we would be going through this particular point. So let's start with the introduction. Hello all, my name is Apurva Bhire and I am a senior technical writer in Red Hat, focusing on REL storage documentation. And I'm here since last seven years and I joined this company as an intern. Yeah, over to you, Rajan. Thank you. Uh, hi all, I'm Rajan Shah. I am a manager in software engineering of partner ecosystem engineering in Red Hat's division, which takes care of the partner certifications uh, globally. And I have been with Red Hat for almost three years now with an overall industry experience of 10 plus years. And we have been, we both are part of the DEI communities in Red Hat in India, as well as I'm part of some of the other communities as well uh, at local sites, at open source, OSPO, and a lot of those communities in bits and pieces. So that's why we are here. And with that, over to you. Let's start with the bigger picture where we would be discussing about the basics of DI and some issues if we are not implementing it. So let's understand some basic definition of DI. So what is diversity? It focuses on presence of differences within a group such as age, race, gender, and other characteristics. It brings wide range of perspectives, experiences, and ideas which enhances creativity, problem solving, and decision making. Equity, where it ensures fair treatment, opportunities and outcomes for everyone by addressing and removing barriers. It addresses inequalities and provides everyone with the tools and resources one need to succeed. And the last one, which is the inclusion, which focuses on creating a safe environment where all people feel valued and have a sense of belonging. It promotes engagement, collaboration, which enhances overall organizational culture and performance. So together, DEI initiatives aim to create workplace and communities that are not only diverse, but also equitable, inclusive, where all individuals can thrive and contribute to that fullest potential. Okay. But what happens if we ignore DI? You will definitely see unequal opportunities due to bias and barriers. Without diverse perspectives, there will be lack in motivation, definitely limited talent pool by overlooking diverse candidates, low morale due to exclusion or undervalue. There would be conflicts due to misunderstandings, compliance issues when we fail to implement DI principles, and the most important, we fail to fulfill requirements of diverse customer needs without having any diverse stakeholders. Next slide. But is this a real a solution where you just get a seat at a table? No, it's, it's not the solution. It's nothing but known as a tokenism which only involves superficial efforts to only include someone, where you are including members of underrepresented groups without offering any meaningful integration or input. There's also a relation between tokenism and benevolent sexism, where uh, environment where women or minorities are excluded despite being capable, which results in lack of respect and exclusion. It's a belief that you know, women are inferior to men or not ready to accept that women can be in the position of form. It also somewhere leads to offering women or minorities protection or just praise them to reinforce some stereotypes. This is all about benevolent sexism and its relation with tokenism. Now let's see the bigger picture of Red Hat, how and what we do with, I know, to avoid those issues. Over to you, Rajan. Thank you. Trying to look for my cursor for the next slide. Sorry for that. Okay. And hopefully we are here. Okay. Um, just a quick check. Are we audible? Everything good? Even one yes would be good in case we get any. Okay, perfect. Thank you. 
all right um so we'll we'll try to go a little bit deeper into what's red hat's picture how does red hat play an important role to take care of whatever i would try to share in terms of the principles the each and each separate pieces of the e and i and as well as what if what happens if we don't do and to do that what do we do okay so to dive into that what we do at red hat is uh, that we have three uh, three three different pillars that we try to have that is like diversity in workforce we have workplace inclusion that is there as well as market leadership uh, and as a global inclusive organization how we establish that is that we ensure that we have measurable outcomes of ticket way inclusion we have various metrics for that we make sure about the different policies that are introduced different vendors that we choose different hiring that we do the interview panel that we set the interviewees that we uh, prefer to have uh, in, as a part of red hat's uh, workforce all of these pictures are uh, all of these metrics are various ways for us to see how outcome for us is measurable and how do we, how do we make sure that we don't just say but we actually are able to perform and move forward in that then we have various resources available various tools available various consultancy available with different teams collaboration opportunities available we have accessibility accessibility available in forms of physical accessibility digital accessibility we have linguistic accessibility as well and also we make sure that everyone in the data across the globe whatever region they are whatever domain they are whatever diversity areas they are into in different in any form okay we have the cultural inclusivity also so we make sure that we have all this type of accessibility available and we keep on doing uh, sessions around that we keep on doing awareness around that thing so that even though that, that as a company we have the school to set and we we are going through that but uh, people are aware about that the associates are aware about that we keep on spreading the same thing so that uh, the good thing about dei the reason why we should not do and what is the benefit of, of that all of those thing is is spread out more wide and wide and we get more positive and successful business business results and the last piece in, in terms of pillar is that we make sure that we are creating you know uh, dei competencies we are partnering with the businesses in in terms of like uh, what apuru had tried to mention we try to avoid tokenism okay we do not have benevolent sexism or even hostile one that uh, we don't feel that okay any gender any particular group is not capable in terms of sympathy or in, in terms of aggression that okay that that person is not capable no we, we try to avoid those things and there are competencies that are set for that uh, so this is how we try to stick with our motto that we believe in inclusion that drives collaboration as well as innovation uh, so this is how red hat tries to uh, implement things in terms of dei pillars dei principles and these are some of the examples that we have there are many different use cases which, that we try to build uh, in terms of customer examples like we we have many different um region of partners and customers who have any issues any complaints any cases going around all of those things being raised for let's say a particular region but we do not block them that you will get support only during that particular region because there is some 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 uh, you know specific linguistic barrier that is there we don't don't do that we try to help them 24/7 we try to have a global support to them based on whatever is the criteria and whenever required we do collaboration with the inclusivity so that we we make sure that the partner as well as the customer also success and that helps us to build a proper successful story even in teams uh, for us uh, if if we talk so we try to make inclusivity a factor because that helps to have diverse perspective diverse groups diverse mindset into the businesses and whatever decision we take care of whatever product we are trying to develop we make sure that is developed in taking consideration of all of these factors uh to drive all of this strategies all of the principles all of the implementation steps and all of the use cases and examples i tried to share we have various communities that are formed in that okay so we have the wlc that is women leadership council uh, the committee that is a global committee that we have and it the uh, word indicates it's a women leadership community but we that is not a necessity we have allyship with different genders as well in that then we have the build community we have diverse abilities community we have um, we have eminent d community as well then we have veterans uh, native communities we have we have asian network we have pride community and the unitas community so these are the various communities of red hat that we have established 
uh, we have people who are actively participating in this we have people who are there to make sure all of this community also in integrates into each other's uh, strategy principles and the metrics and also we try to collaborate and take decisions and advise the different engineering groups sales group support group everyone with all of these principles so this is how we try to take care of from red red side about this implementation and that's that's something very close to us and particularly for both of us that's where we are here to share some awareness around this um so with that uh, i give it back to apurva to summarize whatever we have discussed and what we, what what was our purpose to be here and what we wanted to make sure that it is part of the federal week of diversity because that's something very close to us as a red as well as the federal community as well thank you thank you rajan yeah, to summarize the points which we discussed we started with the questions of what is diversity why we have to implement it and its importance and then we followed it how we are integrating it with red hat's di picture by focusing on the communities and definitely the last point is about how business strategies and driving values from DI implementation can foster an inclusive, equitable, and innovative workplace, as well as enhance overall business performance and culture, and definitely the com uh, community empowerment, empowerment in Red Hat. As you've seen those communities, we get a very good support. And I guess we both of us would you know, love to continue working on this and also encourage other to be part of it. So that's what we wanted to convey from our today's presentation. Anything else, Rajan, you want to add? No, I think so. You did summarize it very well. Uh, we'll open up for Q&A uh, in case there are any pre-submitted questions or in case anyone wants to type any questions right now, uh, in case anyone wants to you know anything in particular about what all we discuss, we are happy to answer whatever we know. Uh, if you don't know, we'll try to get back to the community by getting some more answers. So but please, please feel free to um ask any questions we have there's one i think in the chat questions here okay I'm trying to look at the section in the chat uh, where in Andrea you have opened uh, entry and has opened a thread. I'm not sure if we are supposed to look anywhere else also for any Q&A, but uh, in case someone can unmute or share if we are missing something, uh, it would be good to know. Okay, uh, I believe there are no questions. So thank you for listening to us and hope uh, we were clear on in terms of audio, in terms of what we wanted to present, what we wanted to share as an awareness and what we do at that. And uh, happy to collaborate with whoever is online, whoever is listening to us. You can reach out, reach us, reach out to us. Uh, we, the organizers would have our details. Too, so I hope they will share with everyone. So reach out to us. We can collaborate. We can discuss offline in community as well. We can chat anytime. Reach out to us on LinkedIn as well. So please feel free to contact us anytime. And thank you for the opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you all. Over to, over to you. Thank you.